A great psychologist once said that there's no such thing as coincidence. Just because the connections between events are invisible doesn't mean that they don't exist. The here and the now are never as simple and direct as they seem. The harmless inside of a radio studio can be strangely closer to the scene of a brutal murder than anyone might think. Just watch and listen before you decide on what the connection between them might be. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. J. My watch must be wrong. I thought we were doing a commercial. That's okay, Nina. Having a few sweeping noises in the background just adds a dash of realism. It tells the audience we're real people, not a pre-recording. It's kind of homely, huh? I promise that I'll be as quick and as quiet as possible. Have you heard m much about the killings lately? Oh, you mean the girl they found on the subway platform with a knife in her back? It was on the bulletin I just now read. I certainly didn't miss that one. Well, what was really strange was that we just finished putting out a drama documentary about Jack the Ripper. You know, the 19th century mass murderer in London. One of his victims was stabbed like that. The experts reckoned that Jack must have been interrupted after the first blow. He usually carved his victims up pretty brutally. Hence the nickname. I shan't want to walk to the train station tonight if you keep talking about Jack the Ripper. It does seem odd, though, that our station would broadcast about the stabbing. It went out right before it really happened. What are the odds on that? I came in on the tail end of this, but it sounds interesting. Well, we were talking about the drama documentary about Jack the Ripper and the fact that they just found the girl with a knife in her back on the subway station. Mm. I thought it was kind of a coincidence. Certainly did, but I've never been certain of what exactly a coincidence is. I believe experts call it synchronicity. Coffee and donuts? Yes, please. How many would you like? Mm, two? I'm hungry. Well, I'll get out of the way. I'm, the commercial's almost done anyway. Uh, but according to the schedule, we've got ten minutes of news and current affairs, and then we've got to finish up that crime scene documentary. You know, the, the brides in the bath. Yes, that has always fascinated me. Um, what was his name? Uh, George Joseph Smith, if I remember correctly. Didn't he kill like three of his wives for insurance money? Yeah, Bessie in 1912, Alice in 1913, and then Margaret in 1914. Wow, your memory, uh, I envy. Uh, it isn't that special, actually. I uh, was listening to a recording a while back while trying to do some research on it. Mm. Well, there is one fact I remember. I, I believe it was Dr. Spilsbury, the pathologist on the case, actually proved that it would be impossible to accidentally drown in a tub like that. You know, even in those days, forensic medicine was the best defense against crime. says that the murderers have favored drowning victims in this way since the days of George Joseph Smith, the notorious brides and bath murderer. I just don't believe this. We're still putting on that documentary. This is just weird. to be here tonight. My voice has told me of... Who let him in? Tragic... Horrible, unaccountable deaths in the city. Uh, uh, security. I had visions of water. Impossible to breathe. Nina, are you around? What do you see you have? What has happened? I sense the angel of death in the air. Uh, seriously, Nina, 
Security. I sense the angel of death in the air. Uh, guys, I go live uh, pretty quickly. News, current events, anyone? Come on, Mr. I. I know your vision's are important to you, but we got news and sports coming right up. Who's, who is that? Um, you're the psychic. Tell us. That's Crystal Damon. She's an actress. Come on, Crystal Damon. I'll make you some coffee. She's an actress. Yeah. Listen, we don't have enough trouble already. What the dickens is wrong with him? Oh, am I happy to see you? That's poor old I. He thinks he's psychic. Has visions all the time. Visions? Yeah, usually pretty dark and sinister. End of the world type stuff. Death, destruction, floods, storms, earthquakes, plagues, you name it, and he'll tell you it's on the way. I thought he was on about the recent murders. He might have been. I find him hard to follow. Hi guys, what's happening? I just saw Nina taking Mr. I downstairs and giving him a cup of coffee to settle him down. Hey boss. I thought you were on vacation. I'm here now. Well, it has been a crazy night. You know, there have been two murders following our crime documentaries. We did Jack the Ripper, and then they found a woman stabbed down at the subway station. Yeah, and then we did George Smith, you know, the Brides of Bath, and someone was forcibly drowned in a swimming pool. Well, Jay, give Major Dick a call. Tell him he needs to get here immediately. Hi there. Hey, uh, the boss is in. He's asking if you can get over here to the studio right away to help us. Yeah. No, no, right now, okay? Thanks. What's right. due on next? Oh, uh, the, the Boston Stranglers on schedule is our next regular crime documentary. Do you think that's wise? Well, I'd like to hold on to that schedule as long as we can, but this has a, been a weird business. Um, what do you think? It has to be coincidence. I'd favor holding on to our regular advertised schedule, but you're the boss. Well, I agree with you. Run it on time. I just got Mr. I to leave as a lady was calling. She said she would like to talk to someone. She's very upset about the news. Well, I understand. Yes, you can. I'll be happy to help. Uh, Jay, can you go ahead and get that next documentary running? I need to have this conversation. Sure thing, boss. Well, that's very understanding. And to be honest, it's gotten to all of us. Um, in fact, I've sent for a friend of mine, Major Dick. Yeah. Uh, well, that could be him now. I need to go. There you go. It is him. I got here as fast as I could. I had to turn the sirens on due to all the extra traffic from Friday Night Film Festival. Excellent. Well, we appreciate you coming here. We've had some strange coincidences because what's happening is the shows that we keep running are the same ones that are the, the same style murders that keep occurring. Well, I cannot give you any reassurances one way or the other based on the facts we know thus far. But I did happen to catch the Boston Strangler radio broadcast you had on the air. So if there is any stranglings in the next few minutes, then we will know there's a directive link. Excellent. Damnation, there's been an attempted strangling. It looks like one of your men got there just in time and saved the girl. He's made an arrest. I've got to get on and take charge. You! The truth is, people don't know a lot. But a lot of people don't know that. My voices made me do it. My voices made me do it. My, my voices. <laughs> 